Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the mythical deck from Jump Around. Uh, the, what the mythical deck is, is it's a deck of cards that kind of pays tribute to four different mythology trees. You got Greek mythology, Norse mythology, Egyptian mythology, and Slavic mythology, and we'll get into that as we look at the cards. Uh, this is a current Kickstarter campaign right now on Kickstarter. If you're watching this video, you can check out the mythical Kickstarter right now from Jump Around. And so it's their hope that this deck is funded and this deck gets printed. There is also a stretch goal. Uh, this is the classic deck. It's done in uh, this black color and muted gold. And then there's also an old world deck that's done more in like the parchment colors. Still has kind of like this burnt umber uh, tone to it. And then like, uh, like I said, like this parchment uh, feel. So these two decks, the classic deck, uh, the current deck that is currently funding, and then the old world deck that is of course their stretch goal. Like I said, this deck is a complete overhaul. Every single card has been touched, every single face has been redrawn. All the character cards like the Jacks, Jokers, Queens, they're all unique and original to this deck. They all represent various figures from the mythological trees that they represent. Uh, they also have very unique backgrounds, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, every one of the suits uh, also has a unique rune that's associated with it, as far as the aces and the pips go, uh, and we'll look at that, and we'll see things like the Omega symbol, uh, Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, and uh, the Egyptian Ankh, just to name a few. Just to take a look at the tuck case, it says mythical across the front, it's kind of done in a Norse rune type font, it says mythical on the sides, both sides there, and the bottom says produced by Jump Around. Uh, you kind of have some Celtic bands there on the top, and then the back design of the tuck case is the back design of the cards. Um, currently, this this is a prototype deck, so it doesn't really have a, a deck seal on it. Currently, we don't know who the printer is going to be. I think right now the designers are looking at a couple different options, and uh, they will notify uh, any of their backers through their campaign page as to which company they decide to go with. The old world tuck case is exactly the same. It's just done in a different color. Like I said before, this is a prototype deck, so we're not gonna get into all the natures of the paper stock or the thickness of the cut. That's gonna be uh, determined later. And so a prototype deck is not indicative of the final product. Uh, the back design, as you can see, is done in kind of a Gaelic, uh, kind of Norse uh, feel. It's got uh, circles there on uh, the top and bottom, very similar to a deck of rider backs. But then you kind of have this almost Celtic cross kind of image that's repeated on the top and bottom. And then you have some frames uh, that are going uh, out from that center design. Uh, it is a black bordered deck, okay? black bordered deck. And the faces of the cards are white. And so that's just something to consider uh, when thinking about uh, backing this deck. Every single card in this deck has been redesigned and redrawn. Uh, and all of the pips also have been redesigned. And so this is what the hearts look like, and they represent Greek mythology. This symbol here kind of looks like a spade, but this is the clubs. So this is the clubs, and this represents Egyptian mythology. Here is your diamond pip, and this represents the Slavic people. And lastly, your ace of spades, which the aces represents Norse mythology. All right, so I want to go through the cards real quick and give you a close-up look at some of the really beautiful artwork that's in the mythical deck. And we'll go through the courts and just give you an idea of some of the gods and goddesses that are represented there, all right? All right, so one of the cool things about the illustrations uh, in this deck is that every character card has a unique background as well, all right? So the illustration uh, is laid on top of this gold artwork that kind of describes the gods' environment. You're gonna see that throughout. So these are the hearts. These represent Greek mythology. So here you have Zeus, and you can see that his background is the sky. And this is Aphrodite, and her background is the shell, you know, from the famous painting. And this is the Jack, this is Poseidon, and his background is the sea. Here you have the spades. These represent Norse mythology, so your king is Odin, of course. And your queen is Hel, and your Jack is Thor. These are your clubs. They represent uh, Egyptian mythology. This would be my favorite. Uh, here you have the king, he is Ra. And you have the queen, this is Isis. And of course the jack is Horus. All right, so here you have the diamonds. This represents Slavic mythology, all right? And the king is Dasbog. The queen is Lada. And the jack 
is Velis. Your two jokers are both original uh, and each one unique. Uh, they both represent uh, different deities also. And so this one here, this is Apollo. And this one here is Braji. There's a gold watermark here in the back of all the cards. And I wanted to point that out. It does make the faces a one-way face. But uh, this is also a symbol that kind of represents the culture. Okay, so for the hearts, like we said, this is Greek mythology. This is the Omega symbol. All right, and these are the spades. This represents mythology uh, in the Norse. And so this is Mjolnir. This would be Thor's hammer. And this is the Ankh that is represented and indicative of Egyptian mythology. And then lastly, we have Slavic mythology, and this is Samargol. All right, so that is my review for the mythical deck from Jump Around. And if you'd like to back this, you can head on over to Kickstarter and find it and become a backer supporter right now.